All right, you guys, the time has come. We're finally putting a chassis mount shifter in the E30. We got it all laid out here. It's a garagistic chassis mount shifter. Um, and then I got their DSSR too. So this should really improve the shifter feel of the car. But first things first, let's get everything unwrapped and then we'll go over what each piece is and then we'll see how bad the shifter in the car is now. And then we'll swap everything over and see how it goes. So let's unbox all this and we'll check it out. So here's our kit from Garagistic. Um, everything was wrapped up a little better than that, but I already looked at everything, so that's why the packaging looked that way. Um, so here's our DSSR. This is 187 millimeter. Um, and I'll show you, I'll compare the difference from the stock one, but this is gonna make a big difference by itself. Got hardware for that. This is the base of the chassis mount shifter, so it's all CNC aluminum. Uh, it's actually really nicely built with a spherical bearing in the middle um, So that's pretty good. I got it all anodized black because I like the black over silver So we got that then this is our rod. That's the actual shifter rod. Um, I got the medium length I didn't want the large because I thought it'd be too tall and I didn't want the OEM So we went with the medium and then uh, I got the Delrin standard shifter with the little emblem to go on top so that's basically everything that comes in the kit. Um, it's pretty simple, it should be a pretty easy install, but nothing ever is. So now we will, uh, let's take a look at the one in the car right now. We'll kind of see how far the throw is on that and then we'll uh, compare it to the new one when it's in. All right guys, so we're in the car now and I want to check the factory shifter. This is just a straight OEM shifter. Uh, it's got a few upgraded bushings, but that's about it. It's just an OEM shifter with the selector rod. So we're gonna check the length before we swap it out. So we'll just use a tape measure here. I'm gonna put it in first gear and then um, we'll push it forward, kind of line it up as good as we can. And then we'll pull it back into second. And it's like, it's about three inches on the dot from shift to shift. And then fifth is the same. So, and then you can see all the slack, like it goes, kind of centers itself. There's a lot of play in each gear so so hopefully we'll be able to clean up all the slop in the shifter and make it just really tight um so let's just go ahead and get started on the install we're gonna jack the car up and then it shouldn't take too long to pull that factory shifter out and then we will go over installing the new one all right we're gonna start on the interior first i'm gonna pull all the plastic trim pieces out and then we'll get access to the shifter um ordinarily you'd start with taking your shift knob off and your shift boot but i never put one on since i manual swapped the car so that's easy to go First thing we'll do is we'll pop this rear ashtray out and then there'll be a little plastic nut back here. Um, mine's just finger tight, so I'm just gonna undo it with my hand. All right, so we got the plastic nut out and then we're actually going to pull this all off at once. Like that, so pull that whole console out. Put the nut back on so you don't lose it. And then second thing will come up here and there's two Phillips head screws on the front side of this ashtray, so you just gotta pull those out. So we got both screws out, and then we'll pull this off. And then normally your uh, cigarette lighter's plugged in, but I never plug that back in. Then we'll pull this insulation out because you're not gonna need that anymore. And then uh, there's another plastic screw in here. That's also hand tight. They should be tightened with a ratchet. So once that's off, there's two clips down by the passenger and driver's side footwell. All right, so now that you got the plastic screw out, we're actually gonna pop these pow the power windows buttons out. And then you're also gonna wanna pull the locking window switch out too. All right, so once you get those two side clips popped out, this thing will just slide back like that. Pull this baby out, set it in the back seat. And then all we have to do now is pull the boot off. And you will have a wire running through that, so we'll just rip this thing off. So that's out of the way. And then uh, there's our shifting assembly. So now we'll jack the car up, go underneath, and uh, undo everything. All right, so here's the shifter under the car. It's kind of hard to see, but we're gonna have to pull this out. I had to drop all the under trays off the car and I had to drop the exhaust, which I didn't wanna do. 
But we'll try and get this out first, and then I will uh, tell you guys how we did it without removing the drive shaft, or we might have to pull the drive shaft, but we'll see. All right, we got the shifter out of the car finally. This is the whole shifter assembly with the drive shaft select rod. All right, so this is a factory selector rod, and this is the one we got from Garagistic. So the big difference is this pinches between the shifter, and it will hold it a lot steadier than the one from factory, which only has one on one side. Then this is the factory shifter, um, so it mounts in two spots, and there's bushings everywhere, and it just kind of leaves a lot of slop. And then this is our Garagistic one. It just has one spherical bearing, and so it should only pivot from one spot. And then we got this, this is a medium length selector rod um, and our DSSR and then this is the bottom plate that'll clamp on the transmission tunnel like this. So we're just going to go ahead and throw this in because I don't want to wait any longer and uh, we'll try it out and see what happens. Alright so we got this sitting in the car right here on the transmission tunnel. I'm going to go underneath and hold the backing plate underneath and then Jake here is going to screw in all the screws up top and get this mounted to the chassis. And then we'll uh, go from there. Okay, I feel like that's pretty much done. Okay, everything's in up top, so we're good to go. I'm gonna go under and put the DSSR in. And we'll test it out. All right, this this is it. It's in. It's all done. That's neutral, so it, it does kind of center itself in the bearing. First, second, third, fourth. It is super notchy. All right, we got Gavin, treats on the street. Look, all I can say is that if you buy a short shifter, you're doing it wrong because you gotta buy one of these, check it out. Bam! <laughs> Bam, it's a second or third go. You're never gonna miss a gear again. That, that throw is way short too. It's so positive. That's what I love about this the most is you put it into gear, there's no doubt. It's really, really positive, tons of feedback. I think it's pretty sick, Garagistic. There you go. There's the official opinion of the man himself. All right, guys, this is what it looks like underneath. I'll try and show you. Just connects to the transmission right there, but so much easier than a factory shifter. And I wish I would have just done this from the manual swap. But anyways, you can see the bottom. So I'm gonna put everything back together, and then we'll take it for a drive. Bro, this feels like a completely different car. when you're driving and you're not shit. Uh, it's pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we finally got the shifter in, everything is done. Um, I've been driving the car for two days now and this is hands down my favorite mod I've done to this car, or maybe any car possibly, even the 335. So we're in the car right now, uh, I'm gonna show you guys just how good this thing drives and shifts now, and then uh, we'll kinda conclude the video from there. measure it when we get back to the shop, but I, I don't know if you can tell how significantly shorter the shift is. Alright guys, we're back at the shop now, um, and I just want to show you guys how short this shifter actually is. So we got a tape measure. Before we measure it from first, from in first to the back of second was about three inches on the factory shifter. So with this shifter, we'll put it in first again, kind of line up the tape measure. This obviously isn't the most precise measurement, but you'll get an idea. That's about the middle of the shifter, uh, right there. 
We'll go into second. And it's at about an inch. So we went from three inches on the factory shifter to about one inch in between gears. And that's my favorite car to drive right now. All right, you guys, well, I think we'll end the video there. Um, favorite mod so far, I'll just keep repeating that because it is definitely my favorite mod that we've done on this car so far. I would highly recommend getting this shifter. It is definitely worth the money you pay. I really like the medium height. It definitely feels good just driving, and uh, it's not as big as the large, so I like it a lot. The large would be better for, I don't know, if you're racing or whatever, if you have a track car E30 maybe, but as far as the medium height in a daily slash weekend kind of situation. The medium height is perfect and uh, the Delrin knob is awesome. There is one more thing I forgot we need to put on and I totally forgot this is the last piece of the puzzle, but this is our shift knob, top of the shift knob, shift pattern. So just center this real quick. Set it in, and there we go. That's the whole thing, the Garagistic chassis mount shifter. Definitely recommend this product. Can't say that again. Anyways, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Leave a like, don't forget to subscribe. We have more mods coming for this car. It's, it's getting a lot of work done lately, but big plans for this car in the future. So don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.